Hi, this is Bob for Bob's Movie Reviews, and today I am going to review a movie I watched recently on Netflix Instant Streaming called Grave Encounters. Uh, if you remember last week, I reviewed Grave Encounters 2, but I didn't realize that Netflix also had Grave Encounters 1 when I watched it. So, after I did the Grave Encounters 2 review, I went ahead and watched Grave Encounters, and I, I kind of skimmed through it again since, too, and... So Grave Encounters is about a group of people who are making a paranormal or haunted house or whatever you want to call it, TV show. And, you know, they're kind of ripping off some of the uh, ghost hunters and, and stuff like that. And it's they're, they're making it for a channel who's buying the episodes from them. And I think they're on their sixth episode. And they decide to go to this uh, insane asylum that's been abandoned for however many years, and it's like this giant place. They've gone to places like this on, uh, like, Ghost Hunters, and, um, I don't know if Paranormal, I can't remember what that other one is. There's too many of them. But, uh, so they they get there, and they're kind of just doing, like, they're showing you how they make the, the actual show. Like, they're they're bribing people to make up stories, and... Like, they got a fake psychic there who's just, like, pretending he doesn't know anything. But he's like, yes, I sense a woman died here. They're like, oh, my God, we just heard a woman I did die in there. And they're like, whoa. And, you know, and then you have, like, behind the scenes, someone's recording, like, them just messing around. And uh, they get locked in, and the guy, the one guy's like, I can't believe you really locked us in. And he's like, oh, it's good for the show. Like, they would really know on the show if you were really locked in. And so they basically go most of the night with uh with with nothing and then things kind of start happening and they kind of want to leave and they're locked in and they can't get out and they're waiting for the guy to get there and eventually they realize something's wrong uh it's still dark out and uh the guy hasn't come to let him out and they're getting scared and they don't understand what's going on and finally they break out and the door to get out is just a hallway so if you saw the second one too it's kind of the same deal where the house wouldn't or the the building wouldn't allow you to leave um and basically they just keep going as they get knocked off one by one uh, i was a little disappointed kind of like in the ways they died it didn't really make any sense and also i was kind of disappointed in the ending just because there's no explanation like of why it was always dark you know you might expect to see like in a movie where they're like, oh, they all went crazy and they were only in there for an hour. You know, that would explain why it was still dark. I mean, it's like days or weeks or something, I'm not even sure. And uh, they lose track, really, since it's always dark. Or uh, or the guy couldn't get in. There's got to be some sort of explanation, like, why they were there all that time. I mean, eventually the police would have to show up. It wouldn't, it wouldn't just go forever. And there was really no explanation, which kind of, to me took away from the movie but i think this one was better than the second one it had better pacing and uh, i like the characters more and I, I just thought overall it was more enjoyable so for a score on this one i would give it a three out of five it's definitely worth checking out um if you enjoyed this review give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time